Hi there, Post Processes here and welcome back to my, well, Unreal Engine and DaVinci Resolve series. In today's video I will tell you how to make your Unreal Engine renders look more cinematic by color grading them in DaVinci Resolve. I will show you my fast and lazy approach which is suitable for color grading your personal projects. Let's get into it, but before we start let's make sure that we have all plugins we need enabled in our project settings. As in default empty project there is no movie render queue plugin enabled. Go to settings plugins and look for movie render queue and enable it. Unreal may ask you to restart. Do so. For my renders I usually do some precautions which became a habit while working in the film industry. Here I have the sequence which I've prepared and going to render it. It's important to render in a crush safe way. Open movie render queue and add your sequence. I prefer rendering in EXR sequence as it will save each rendered frame as a separate file and has much wider exposure range and color depth for more flexibility on color stage. And also if Unreal crashes in render or power shuts off, you will have all your rendered frames saved, whereas if you render in ProRes or MOV file format, you will lose all the data on the crash. When it's all set, hit Render Local. It was pretty quick, right? We just set up the render and now we are getting into color grading stage. For my color grading process, I'm using DaVinci Resolve mini panel, but don't worry, I will show you how I do all the grades in the Resolve interface with keyboard shortcuts. I just personally prefer using color grading panel for faster results, as when you got used to it, you forget about using mouse and keyboard and have more precise controls over exposure and curves. After render finished, grab all your sequence files from your folder and drag them to DaVinci Resolve. When you imported your XR sequence to DaVinci Resolve, you instantly may notice that the picture looks very dark and with high contrast, because most of the 3D renderers use linear gamma and sRGB color space. But no worries here, we will fix it right now. Open color panel and make sure that effects tab is open. Drag and drop color space transform node. Set input color space to sRGB and gamma to linear. Now set output color space and gamma to Rec 709, which is default monitor display. After that your image will match with what you had in Unreal Engine. Now I'll create couple of nodes before color space transform, as I would like to use information form untransformed data, as linear is much wider exposure range. To create node before, click Shift plus S on the keyboard. Here I have created two nodes and now I will name them. First one is exposure and temperature. Second one is Curves. Now I'm changing white balance to make picture look cooler and adjust global exposure and shadows with highlights to get more contrast. After that, I am selecting next node and adjust hue for blue color to make it more teal. Now I will create another node before curves. I will name the node Toning and add some blue tones to shadows and some orange to highlights to achieve orange teal look. I know it's a cliche, but a good visual example. Now we have nice color separation. But when I go to the very beginning of my video, I think it's too bright to my taste, and here I want to have less exposure and more cold bluish feeling. Here I create another node by hitting Alt plus S on the keyboard. I will name this node Auto Exposure and will keyframe it later. I will lower shadows and highlights and introduce even more teal and shadows.
It is time to keyframe nodes. Open keyframe tab, find your node number and enable keyframing for this node. Now any change of node parameters will create a keyframe. Navigate to keying tab and wiggle gain so it will create a frame at the beginning of the sequence. Move play ahead to the point where you want to start node fade. Wiggle gain again but leave it at value 1. Move play ahead further where you want this node to fade completely and set gain value to 0. Now we have balanced shot with good contrast and change in exposure. Obviously, you can experiment with your footage and push even further for desired result. You don't need to follow my color grading techniques as there are multiple ways to achieve the look you want by using LUTs, curves, DC tails, or if you have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, add open effects plugins such as film grain, halation or lens flares. This way you can quickly perform color transforms in DaVinci Resolve and grade your renders, resulting in proper image display on your monitor. In my next video I will tell you how to set up ACES workflow in Unreal, configure your DaVinci Resolve project, what are the benefits of using ACES and why you need to know it in order to land a job in the film industry. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.